Hey guys, it's Terry. How's your heart today? How's your heart? I hope you're doing well. I'm here to answer today a question from Chrissy Liu. She sent me a question that she wanted to know some information about uh, in regards to tips for grounding. So here are going to be some tips for you to ground before you do any type of spiritual work or actually any kind of deep inner work that you might be um, trying to grow, evolve, shift, or reach towards your goals, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and share some of that information with you. Now, some of what I am say to you may be controversial, and I'm okay with that. I'm here to ruffle feathers. I'm here to speak truth. Some people may like it, some people may not. So if you're one of these people that don't like it, just want you to know that it's totally and completely fine. I respect that uh, we don't have the same opinion and I still respect you and your work. So um, one of the ways that you can ground, I would use this grounding technique after, not before you do any type of spirit work, um, but you can use this grounding technique before you do deep inner work um, it's more for your body than it is for your soul in terms of grounding, okay? Um, and once again, if I offend you, I do apologize. I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm just sharing the truth about what helps people ground. Now, some people um, are vegetarian. Some people are vegan, which means that they have no meat in their diet whatsoever. Um, and that's not a problem, there's no judgment. I'm like, do your thing, boo, you do you, boo. But I'm a meat eater, okay, so I eat meat. One technique for grounding is eating meat, particularly beef. Not necessarily chicken or fish, which I guess is technically those aren't meat, they're poultry anyways. Well, poultry and fish. Yeah, fish is not poultry and, and fish Fish is not poultry and poultry isn't fish. So then you just really only have beef, right? Or meat. Um, uh, yes, so things like a steak, ground beef, prime rib, roast beef, uh, those are grounding. They will bring the body back into the body, the experience of the body. And a lot of the times it does have to do with energy and frequency. Now, of course, obviously you wanna eat healthy. You wanna make sure that your the beef is cooked well, right? Um, but I might be pissing off all of you vegan psychics out there and that's totally cool. That's, that's, that's fine. There are other techniques for grounding. That is just one way to ground, but I'm going right out the gates here. Like truth speaking, you know, that's just the way it is. So meat, eating meat, beef. Um, I would suggest if you're, if you're a, if you're a light worker though, I would suggest you eat that after you do your work. Okay, so if you're gonna be reading all day, I would do that after because if you're doing readings or even or you're doing any type of energy work, you actually want to be higher up. You don't want to be lower up and I'm lower up, lower down, and I'm talking vibrational frequency, right? You don't want to be so grounded when you're working, when you're doing those things. So I would suggest that as a tip for grounding after. Okay. Actually, I would I would suggest a lot of these grounding things being used after, um, because, well, again, it depends on, on on what you're doing. If you're a light worker and you do this professionally as a job, or you're gonna channel messages, or you're gonna do energy healings or whatnot, you're gonna want to use these after, not before. If you're going in for a therapy session, if you're going in for a coaching session, or if you're going in for in, into a situation where you're just so nervous and you're scattered and your energy is outside of you, grab a burger right before. Eat some meat. Yeah, get all up in there. <laughs> um, and you can do that before your session. It will help ground you, okay? So that's one grounding technique. Another technique is, of course, to stand barefoot either, and it's called grounding. It's an actual technique called grounding. You're going to uh, stand barefoot either on grass or on dirt if you can. And that is so you are connecting, connecting to the frequency of the earth's 
frequency. So you're bringing brought down to earth. You know when you hear that saying, oh, that person is so down to earth. They're saying that they're so grounded. They're so logical. They're so pragmatic, right? They're not emotional, right? So that's what you're doing. You're bringing yourself back down to earth. So you're gonna, it's called earthing. I know I called it grounding, but it's called earthing actually. And they believe it or not, they have electronic pads. I have one because I don't, I'm not a hiker. <laughs> Sorry, I just really don't go hiking. So um, I have a pad that is set up with all these electronic blah, blah, blahs. And it's an earthing mat. That's what it is, an earthing mat. And it contains the frequencies of the earth. So I can stand on it. I can lie on it, whatever. And it connects me to the frequency of the earth. So that is called earthing. That is one way. So, so far you can do it by your diet and you can also do it through earthing. Another thing you can do is use, use visualization. If you're not a visual person and you're more clairsentient like myself, I imagine and feel and think instead of see. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna, um, you're gonna wanna imagine, picture, think, or feel your self, uh, 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 how do I say this? Um, uh, like a cord or it, cords are usually mostly used. A cord or a vine or a rope or whatnot tied around like your hips and it's or coming from the base of your spine down into the center of the earth. So this is done through frequency, through thought okay um or through feeling okay so you're tapping into the frequencies so one other way of doing it, this is through frequency another thing that you can do is you can do root chakra work okay that will ground you actually you can use any of the first three centers which are your survival centers um they ground you down into earth and the only reason is, is that their frequencies move slower than let's say your throat your third eye or your shot your crown or your soul star those are more uh those frequencies are higher and they're faster and so you're like not grounded because you're up here instead of down here so it's you can do root chakra work sacral chakra and solar plexus chakra work so um and again you can do that through chanting you can do that through um physical movement of the body belly dancing fantastic for earthing okay fantastic for grounding belly dancing um Let's see what else. Oh, lastly, one of the things you can do, and I do this a lot, is sit on a chair or a couch and literally bounce up and down on it and feel your tailbone on that hard surface, okay? You are reminding yourself and, free, and energetically that there is gravity and it is pulling you down, okay? So you're being brought back down to earth, okay? So those are just some of the tips that you can use for grounding, okay? They're super easy. I think the only one that's really gonna cost you money is if you eat meat or take belly dancing classes. <laughs> but those are just some of the tips. You know, some of them may not work for you, so you're gonna have to find what does work for you. Again, you're gonna wanna, um, you're gonna wanna sort of strategize when you're gonna do your grounding. Are you going to do it after or before whatever it is that you want to do if you're a professional or you're doing energy work or you're a light worker you're going to want to do it after and if you're going in for therapy or coaching or anything where you're actually also using your brain a lot you're going to want to do it before all right you guys all right there's some information thank you so much chrissy lou for writing that question in so what am I always saying, you guys? Stay connected. This is a great way to stay connected to your body. Remember, when we're leaking energy, we are outside of our body. So grounding is super important for us to do because we are human beings bound by earthly ways and earthly laws. Our earth suit needs to be grounded to the planet Earth like an umbilical cord, right? So um, those are some of the ways. Just remember you got to stay connected, whether it's to yourself, to your family, friends, or to me. And if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I would be happy to. There are so many ways. Just check out my site, terryhuberman.com, and I'll see ya.
on the flip side.